There was a 22-year-old college senior that came through the emergency department really just complaining of vague flu-like symptoms and was screened through the, our, our focus um, routine opt-out testing and ultimately found to be HIV positive. It probably would have been some time for someone to say, hey, let's test this patient for HIV. There was no reason to suspect anything otherwise. When I took office in 2017, we were in a crisis. There are notable racial disparities in HIV diagnosis and care outcomes within African-American communities here in Louisiana. I was concerned about my community. It could no longer be ignored or minimized. It had to be addressed. Focus works behind the scene to address health inequities by working with government stakeholders, community partners, hospitals, just to be able to implement routine opt-out screening that normalizes and destigmatizes testing. Everyone needs to know that it is all right to get tested. And knowing your status, knowing what life you have to live, it helps you support the individual because you know what they're going through. Removing stigma allows people to get an answer about their status. We really wanted to tackle better health outcomes for our communities and for our state. And so it made sense in the emergency department that we can incorporate a program like FOCUS that actually brought resources in to help us do the work and do this testing. Right or wrong, a lot of people are still using emergency departments as a safety net for access to primary care. FOCUS is absolutely a systematic change. It's hardwiring these workflow into the fabric of the emergency department. We've altered our electronic health record to incorporate the screening questions during triage. Before the college student had come into our emergency department, he had actually presented to an urgent care. After feeling weak, they saw him, gave him some anti-nausea meds, told him to go home. But the very next day, his symptoms just progressively worsened. That caused him to go to one of our sites and he got screened. He is identified early, he's linked to care early, and unable to transmit that disease. Before FOCUS started, we had tested that year about 150 patients. Last year, we tested about 30,000 patients across the different facilities that are doing the program now. FOCUS has really allowed us to get to patients and identify them sooner and not just realize that they're positive for these diseases, but then help them navigate the healthcare system and actually get connected with care. FOCUS is an innovative approach to screening for HIV and HCV, but we think that this model can be applied to a host of other diseases because it really is just making sure that the populations who need it have access to screening and they can get into the care that they need. I have seen firsthand the power of collaboration and the need for collaboration if you are going to see results. I would encourage other cities to connect with local nonprofits, organizations like Gilead who are a front and center when it comes to public health issues. This is something that is very tangible, it's a bigger part of this organization. This is bigger than just one facility, even bigger than just one healthcare system. When we work together, we can really make a difference. If we screened all of our patients that come through our emergency departments in one year, we could potentially identify 40,000 positive HIV or hepatitis C antibody patients. When you start thinking about stopping the transmission of those 40,000 patients, you're really talking about stopping the spread to potentially millions of people. That's how we end the epidemic.